Some people say, Simon, that M&D commerce are the most important tools moving into the next decade that retailers throughout the world have, and that other people say that the South African retail industry isn't yet fully embracing the M&D revolution. What's your comment on that? Yes and yes, quite honestly. Um, I would say that 100% um, right in terms of the first part of your question. The you know, e &M commerce now is, is, at, is at a stage in retail evolution, which is where retail was probably 40 years ago with the sort of, or 45 years ago, with the first sort of self-service supermarkets coming on stream. You know, before that, everything was behind counters and it was, it was that way of dealing with merchandise. And supermarkets became self-service, they became out of town, they started selling fuel and all, the, all, the, all those good things and that developed. But the real key in supermarket evolution was the self-service going into that element. That's where we are now with E&M Commerce, if, to, to make it simple. We are now reaching the stage where you've got to have a reach, you've got to have an online site. It doesn't matter if you're a one shop or a thousand shops, you know, a big business, a small business. If you don't have a website that's active and trading actively, you're not going to be around in another 10 years. So for local players then, or retailers, being ahead of the game, or at least um, being ready or on par with international players and giants when it comes to shopper insights, data analytics and capabilities plus innovation is critical for survival. In short, concentrating efforts on these components will, will, will future-proof a retail business that is sizable. Combine this with what we believe to be Africa's largest technology advantage and large-scale success is inevitable. Experts estimate that by 2015, there will be 265 million broadband subscriptions in Africa. It's very straightforward. There's nothing really new about this. Everybody has had barcodes for a long time, but it's just a way that you can make things easier um, for, your, for, for your client. I want to show you part of the key that we believe, Simon and I, to successful app design is to keep it simple. So here's Debenhams. Debenhams is a big store like Edgar's in the United Kingdom. Okay, so let's go into Shop All, and it's gonna show you quite a nice, simple design. Do you see that there? Women, lingerie, men, I'll, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna stay off the lingerie today. I don't want to insult any of the ladies. And we go to dresses, and it's a massive catalog, so it will take a little while to download. Here we go. All right, so let's look at uh, something down here. You see there's a lovely large selection here. The pink butterfly print summer dress. Do you see it comes up there? And you can get an overall view, or if you want to, you can go in, ladies, closer, and then using your iPhone devices, go in even closer to show how it works. I'm sorry to keep on going on about Walmart, but over here in South Africa, it's, it's the big story at the moment in retail. So what about the suppliers? Uh, there's been a lot of talk about how Walmart, some people say, are going to flood the local industry with suppliers. Should they just roll over and play dead? Or, or is there a really a, a great opportunity for suppliers here with the entrance of a, of a company like Walmart? Does, does it work both ways? Yes. <laughs> for want of a better word, yes. Um, Next question. <laughs> I mean, let me, let me, let me say that, that um, Walmart, with its international clout, obviously, and its exposure to the international supplier is going to bring a certain products from other parts of the world into South Africa, as they've done in other parts of the world. That will happen. Um, but local suppliers as well have got a job to do. They've got a job to do in not just servicing their requirements within the local market, but also get onto that bandwagon of getting their products into the global market as well. If I can just show you here, these are barcodes for augmented reality applications. Here's another one. This is my favorite. Anybody guess what this might be? Okay, sorry, it's very difficult, isn't it? Uh, <coughs> this is an IKEA, rather like macro. This is, or Weatherly's. This is an IKEA barcode for a couch, right? Let's say that's my sitting room. I take this barcode now in Britain and in Sweden. It doesn't work here, so don't try it at home. I put it on the floor like that. 
and I take my cell phone, or ideally, if I can manipulate my mobile camera on my MTN wireless system in, in my home computer, because it'll be faster than a cell phone, and I simply point the camera there, and it works out the size of the room, and in technically 3D, it puts the city of my choice. I can change the color by pressing on the screen. It puts that couch into my living room so I can see what it looks like.